Hey, what's up guys? If you are curious about the different minifigures that I have on display in my blue shelf over here, do check out my vlog channel. My most recent video is a tour of like the toys that I have like right behind me here on the blue shelf, including those little minifigures. So check that out if you haven't already done so. What is going on? Draw2 Crew, Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And this time we are going to do the Lego Movie 2, the second part, with a tutorial on the main character, Emmett Brikowski. On this channel, I do a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorial videos of your favorite fictional characters. So if you guys like what you see here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video as well. I never got to do a tutorial on Emmett or any of the characters in the first Lego Movie. Well, to be honest, because I never thought that it would do very well because I always think of Lego movies as like made for TV. Uh, but this Lego movie, the first one was such a massive hit and I loved it so much. Uh, fell in love with the characters, the story was really cool. Um, so yeah, I thought, you know what, with the Lego movie 2 coming out, I'm definitely going to do characters from the Lego movie. So here we are. We're starting off with Emmett, of course. So. That's what this is. Before you guys start though, make sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. So having said all of that, you guys grab your drawing tools, grab your Lego bricks, and let's get started with our Emmett drawing. All right, you guys, let's get started with our Emmett uh, tutorial. I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to be drawing him full body. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to block out the essentially like the different um, body parts. And because it is a Lego figure, it's not going to have like the normal human proportion. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first draw a circle. I'm going to draw a circle about this big. <clears throat> Excuse me. OK, and then so there's our circle. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more of a cylinder. So I'm just going to draw those two lines. And you, you guys, uh, um, you might be able to tell I've got those lines a little bit diagonal, just like that. And I kind of want, yeah, I kind of want the whole body to kind of look diagonal like this. So if I were to draw a center line, it's going to go down this way. Okay. Right around here, I'm going to draw a line going straight. Actually, not straight. It's parallel or perp perpendicular to the diagonal right here. So you want to make sure that there's like a 90 degree right there. So 90 degrees here and here, of course. Okay. And then for this one, we're going to kind of make a square. So I'm going to draw another line over here. This one's going to be slightly bigger than the head. So actually right here is probably better. Bring that up slightly. So distance from the head, bring that down and then just add a little bit more to it. And that's how that's how far you want that to go. Okay, and then right around here and here. So about this far away from the side of the head, this far away from the side of the head as well. Those are kind of going to be our guidelines for the shoulders. And then just a very subtle going wide this way and this way. And you want to make sure that these two are they, they sort of slope similarly. Okay, and then this is of course going to be divided into the front and the side, and then I'm just going to draw a line parallel to this. And once I do that, I've figured out my side. So this is going to be the side right here. All right, there you have it. And I'm even thinking I might have drawn it a little bit too big. I want this to be a little bit more square. So I'm going to bring it up, fix this a little bit. So I'm just, I'm just fixing the slope here and I'm going to bring this a little bit higher up just to keep it nice and proportional. Okay, so there's, there it is. I've got my eraser here. This is actually not, not bad because what I'm going to do with this line, and if you guys don't have that line, of course, feel free to draw it. That is going to be the line for the bottom part of the, uh, the, the, the upper part of the leg is the belt line. So I'm going to draw again, parallel to the center here and here like that. Okay. 
Now what I'm going to do is right around here, I'm going to figure out the side and along over here. Let me zoom in slightly. Okay, so here's the side of this bottom piece. I'm going to draw this along it. And what this is going to be is going to be the side of the leg. And you kind of want to draw a circle about this big is good. Just like that. It's more of an oval because, of course, it's tilted on its side. Okay. So that's uh, a good circle. And then I'm going to draw a line going across right here. Again, slanted parallel to these lines here. Okay. And on this side, it's going to slope like this. Similar curve as here. And that, of course, is going to be the top part of the leg. Okay. Now, find a spot right from here to here. Find the center so that this and this are the same. So here's the center line right here. And then from here and here, find the center as well. Roughly around there. And this is okay that they're far apart like this because it is different depths. Okay, there you go. So once you have that center, you kind of want to create this two lines around it. And that is the center of the crotch area. And then once you have the center, you can kind of start shaping out the legs. Okay, so the legs go out this way. That one goes that way. Okay, right here as well. Okay, this one creates a square. So you want to create this nice square on this side. Extend it further out like this. Bring that down parallel to this. Extend it further this way. Again, parallel to this line. And then right around here, we're going to draw a line and end that foot off like that. Okay, there you go. What you want to do is you want to make sure that when you draw this line here, it creates a 90 degree angle to this here. So you want to do that there. And let me just readjust this because I'm going to want to do the same thing here. There you go. And then line here. And there we have the foot. Okay, we got the right leg there. And then on this side, we're going to do something similar, except it goes inwards. Start right here and just bring it out like this. Okay, and then right here, right around here, like that. And what you want to do is you want to create this square shape again, but it's going to be a parallelogram because of the way it's angled. And then this goes straight from here, go straight this way. Okay, if you guys draw a line right here, I'm going to erase that shortly. I should be able to create like a foot. So two lines going this way, across like this. And then again, 90 degrees here, across over here, and then like that. And then just fix it up. You do want to make sure that these right here, the legs look like they're similar in um, length, even though one of them is angled a certain or differently. You want to make sure that they're one does not look longer than the other. And like that, just it's just a matter of looking back, checking to see, hmm, does this look longer? And then just making some adjustments. Okay, there you go. So, I mean, it's Lego, so Lego does look a little bit easy, but it's also a lot of it is angles and trying to make sure that you draw these um, shapes uh, the right way from different angles. So there you go. So there's our leg right there. You can pause this video if you guys want to, you know, take a take a closer look at it and um, observe it a little bit more. So what I'm doing now is I'm just fixing up the bottom and making it look, uh, just darkening my lines because I've pretty much got it right. And there you have it. Okay. Now let's work on the arms. 
arms are uh, more or less uh, also a little bit of a challenge. They do look easy, but also you want to make sure that you have the um, that U shape for the hand. Uh, you want to get that at the like looking right. Okay, I'm going to start right here with the shoulder right around here. So imagine the shoulder sort of comes out of this hole here. And if you guys own any Lego minifigures, you'll probably have come across this hole where you snap the arm through. So imagine that the arm comes through from that hole. Okay, it goes down this way and this way. And then here's where the elbow starts or the bend of the arm starts. Okay, this goes down and then slanted. This goes this way as well. Okay, good. And then there you go. So what I'm doing is I'm creating this circle for the wrist and then another circle inside it like that. There you have it, okay? And then you can erase this now. Once you have that arm, you can erase that part. So you should have this. And then the wrist, the yellow hand comes out like this. And what you want to do is you want to create like this U shape right here. Okay, so I'm going to start it here and then make my way around to the here again. And it's going to cover part of your leg and that's fine. So there's that U shape. another U-shape inside, and I'm just going to clear that out so you guys can see it better. So here's that U-shape on the inside as well. Kind of bring it together like this, and then draw a line this way and this way. Okay, and then draw a line from here going down as well. So you want to make sure these three lines here are par parallel to each other. Okay, this curves into here like that. And you want to make sure that the wrist part is kind of going into that. So you want to make sure that that's that the wrist looks like it's connecting to the center of the back of this shape. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> even I'm having a hard time understanding myself. But that's just how it is sometimes. You know, with these parts, it's really hard to describe them. Okay, so what you just want to make sure that the wrist part is connected to the back of this, but kind of in the center. So you don't want your arm, your hand to be too low or too high. You kind of want it um, aligned with the wrist part. Okay, and then here I just drew a line and then curve it in. So now you got a cupping hand just like that. Okay, there you have it. I'm going to do the same thing over here now. So right around here, very similar. I'm going to draw a line going across instead and then angle like this. A little bit of a curve here, actually an oval. Okay, and then bring this down into the body. Okay, and then right here is kind of where you want that bend to go. Okay. Another curve inside. Tube coming out like this. So that's the wrist. Okay, line like this. And then now what you want to do is you want to create like the same U shape, but it's going to be like this. There you go. Okay, and right here, line going across like that. This goes like this. And then close that off. I'm going to draw two lines here, one and two. So that just gives it some depth. Let me erase some of these. So now you got this little horseshoe shape, right? Okay, bring this, curve it here and here, curve it here as well. 
and you want to create another U shape inside. And then this goes in. And once you have that, you should have your second hand, the right hand this time. And you want to make sure um, when you look at your both hands that they're about the same size. Mine's kind of, this one's slightly bigger, but it's not too big of a, a deal, I think. So I'm just going to leave it. It's not that it really doesn't look too bad. Okay, there you go. So if you zoom out, here is our Emmet. So far looking pretty awesome because everything is awesome. Okay, there you go. And then now we've got the head part. Let's zoom in on the head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a little bit of a, uh, a red backpack as well. And you know that backpack pieces actually connect along the neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from here, kind of just where that face goes. About this right here. Draw a line going all the way to the back and then drop it down. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw the uh, corner there. So the, here's the front part, here's the side part. Okay, and then a little bit of the, the neck. You want to make sure that the neck enters the head in a central like way. So here's the two sides of the head here. You want to make sure that the neck kind of goes in that way. Okay, let me draw a line going across now. Curve, curve. You also want to make sure that you're following the center right here so that the head is pretty centered. There you go. And so far, so good. Okay. About this far up and this far up from the curve. Okay. We're going to start with the hair. Hair goes in like this. Bring it up. Here goes in, bring it up as well. This one a little bit higher than this. And then bring it across in a nice curve. This goes down like that. Okay. This goes this way and this goes this way. And then what you want to do is you want to create this nerdy looking bowl cut. across until you reach the other side. Don't make it a little too poofy. With a little bit of a, a, what do you call it here? A part in the hair, but it's not a very distinct part. So what I'm doing is I'm just creating like, like an indent and then two hair little poofs that go this way and then this way. Kind of like a, a cow lick is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys know what cow licks are, but just a, when you wake up in the morning and there's like that one, like that couple of strands of hair that just won't go down. That's a cow lick. I think that's what a cow lick is. Okay, there you go. There's a Emmett's hair. Let me draw the little bit of depth. depth to it. So draw a line here, goes into that corner. Again, right here, same thing. So here's that corner first and then the line going down like that. And then right here, goes like this. So there's just the kind of the depth of the hair and then the part on that hair, two lines going down into that corner right there as well. Let's draw the backpack or the back bling if this was Fortnite. And then we're ready to add the details into our Emmet Lego mini figure. Okay, so the backpack is going to be slanted. So I'm going to start off with a big one right here. It's going to look like that. And then right here as well. So two lines right around here. I'm going to draw a line going. Uh, that's good, actually. And then this one goes like that. And then this one goes like that. Okay. So this 
yeah, it's going to be, it's like a red brick. And I will provide you guys with a reference photo. I'll put it in the description of this. So make sure to check that out. Okay, and then let's draw this circle, kind of like the connecting piece above this brick here. So a circle or curve, and then a little bit more flatter. I want to bring that like that so that it looks like a little Lego piece. There you go. You can even write the word Lego over here if you guys want to. Okay, so there's the backpack piece looking pretty good. Now let's get started with uh, the details on Emmett. And let's do the face first. Actually, you know what? Here's, here's what it looks like. So pause the video uh, so that you can get a pretty good look at what Emmett looks like right now. And then let's zoom in on the face. Let's get started with the face. Okay, on this side and this side, kind of like a, along the hairline here, you want the eyes to be above that hairline, like that. So two black beady eyes. Okay, the smile is gonna be closer to this eye. Actually, let me move this eye a little bit closer to the line. There we go. The smile is going to be closer to this eye here and lower on this, under this eye. And it's going to be the shape of a banana. So just draw a nice banana. Make it darker. And then teeth. Teeth just look like that, essentially. And there. Let's draw some hair, waves in the hair. Goes from here, goes high and then goes low. And then um, it's an indent in the plastic Lego piece. So I'm just gonna create it like that. Okay, and then do the same thing over here, except it goes like that. And then there's kind of one more up here. There you go. It sort of reaches the the side of the hairpiece. There. Cool. So there's our Emmett face, not the not the hardest face to draw. Okay, and then fixing that up, making sure everything looks good. Let's draw the torso piece. I mean we're pretty much finished with the arms. There's really no design in the arms. Let me erase this center line going down. Oop, there, and then we'll change that new center line. Hopefully you guys still have this line right here. Let's bring it to the top so that you guys have a center. And hopefully, whoops, the center line should be like from here to here, find the center spot right there. And then here to here, center spot here. So just connect it and then you have a center line. Halfway down, right here, I'm going to make this Y shape this way and then this way. Okay, it's going to be the yellow or sorry, the, the orange um, jumpsuit that he has with a blue like inside. So the inside of the the orange is going to be this thing and I'm going to create it like this one and then two like that. So it sort of makes this Y shape as well. dark band right there. Another one on the other side. And then like this painted wrinkle, just like that. Okay, let's draw the pockets on each side. You want to you might want to draw these a little darker because they are like a painted piece on his torso. There you go pockets on each side. So here's one pocket here. Just a rectangle and then same thing on this side you want to make sure that they're looking the same on each side this one's going to have a pen painted on so it's a loop like this and then just the what do you call this part of the pen like the clip part and then the clicky part right there there you go 
So that's good. And then now there's going to be like the gray, the, the gray part of the suit, and it's going to go across here to here. And you want to keep that width consistent because we're going to be doing that several times. Okay, below the pockets as well. So you can shade that in gray. And then going from the top, parallel to this line right here, goes from the top down to the bottom as well. All the way down to here. And if it crosses the pencil, the pen, it's supposed to, okay? So it goes like that. And then from here, same thing. There you go. All the way down to this line right here. Okay, zooming out. That's what Emmett is looking like. And then we'll just do the uh, bottom part and then we'll done. We'll be done. Okay, there you go. So there's uh, the belt piece. And let me grab another pencil for this one. The belt piece is going to be two lines here and here is, is what that belt is going to be. Okay, only up to the, the front of this piece. This is the side, so don't continue all the way to that side. Okay, right where the center is is going to be a buckle with like this two curves that sort of make it that look like a puzzle or not puzzle, like a circle. Right there. Okay, and then one line here, one line here. There should be a gap. So here's like the, um, what do you call it? The buckle, the belt loop. And then another belt loop right here. And right here. You don't get to see, for me anyway, you don't see that. So that's what that looks like. Moving down, another gray piece going across right here and here. You want to make sure that these are parallel. Okay, and then the last thing is Emmett's got this ID tag. So two lines like this. Curve the corners. Bring it like that. So here's like the ID badge that he has, and then right in the center of that ID badge, but kind of following the curve of the of the Lego piece. I'm gonna draw a square and then a rectangle coming out of it like that. Okay. Right here I'm gonna draw a line going across. Not reaching the sides because I'm gonna bring it down like this. Again, following that that curve, because this whole thing is curving. And then write E-M-M-E-T. That's his name. And this is his ID badge. So I'm just gonna draw like the, his photo over here in that square. Like that. And then just a bunch of lines to kind of indicate his identification. And that's that. Okay, so zooming out. Let's get these out of the way. There is your Emmett minifigure right there. Not looking too shabby. Anyway, that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial from the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Haven't seen the movie yet. Let me know if you guys have seen the movie in the comment section. No spoilers, please. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. And that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys are very proud of your drawings. If you are, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and to Instagram and post your artwork there and tag me so that I can see it as well. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do uh, my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description on different ways that you can help support 
support this channel. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, I can make content like this for free for you guys. So I appreciate your consideration. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, liked this video, commented down below, and most especially if you shared this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the uh, tutorial that's here on this uh, video. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of those are in the description, so be sure to read it. Finally, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.